All right, I have just re-logged in, so hopefully it doesn't bug on us today. Well, today, tonight. For me, it's tonight. And I can't decide whether I should wash my hair tonight or tomorrow morning. But it doesn't matter when or how I wash my hair, because regardless, today is market day. It's, it sounds like some sort of ad, with the, like the oil of Orlay thing. We need a shampoo, Elf Fruit Essence, or something like that, EE -E for short. Wash your hair with Elf Fruit Essence, doesn't matter when you do it, your hair is fresh and clean and lush and shiny every time you wash with Elf Fruit Essence. Okay. All right, well, let's see what the cards have for us today on Market Day. <clears throat> All right, and what do we have here? We've done the Cowled Visitor already. We have a petition from a villager, and we have the Undaunted Chevalier. Let's go for the Undaunted Chevalier. Haven't seen that card before. Maybe it's a rarer card. In this one we've seen a couple times, so it might come up again. So let's see. You might hear me fiddle with my headphones. Sorry if it makes extra noise. All right. The Undaunted Chevalier. He stands at the town gates, challenging the finest of Sarul's chivalry to a duel. His steed, a restless bay, pawns at the road. His armor is red and black. A rose emblazons his shield. His dragonborn, dragonborn, dragonborn sword flares in the setting sun. All right, fight him yourself. Are you not the finest Serou has to offer? If you win, you'll gain dignity and a trophy. If you lose, you'll gain Darren Do. Oh, so it's like a win-win. And it's low risk, so 82%. Ask for a volunteer to fight him. Uh, if I win, I'll gain dignity and a trophy. Wait until he goes away. Lose some dignity, but nothing more. I, I want to fight him myself. Let's fight him. Let's fight him ourselves. For Serou, the Chevalier is quick, skilled, and fierce. His sword is cruelly sharp. His armor is wrought by the finest smiths of Valroyau. His form is excellent, but you are Serou. Your first blow splits his shield and numbs his guard. Your second sends his sword spinning to the side. Shing! Your third knocks him from his horse. The town's population, crammed onto the walls, explodes in celebration. Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! Those are kisses from the crowds. Woo! Woo! You claim your foe's sword and shield as trophies. They will look splendid on your wall. <laughs> Daring do is increasing. The success, it will be market, well, it has already been market day. So, wow, three dignity, we, new total of a hundred, shining, shining. My arms are outspread right now. <laughs> and we gained a trophy. We, aha, gained some more daring do. Excellent, excellent. Onward. Oh, the sorceress's departure. The scornful sorceress is leaving. My work is complete. Thank you, your grace. I, I just really can't do a Morgan accent, no matter how hard I try. For your consideration and your hospitality. I am certain Orle is grateful. Servants carry something tall, flat, and wrapped in layer upon layer of silk to her carriage. There is some way I can thank you for your loyal service. Oh, is there some way I can thank you for your loyal service to the Empress, she asks, trying to divert your attention. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So I can ask for information, gain a secret. 
I asked if there's anything she can do about Sarah's more unnatural problems. Oh, that will reduce your twilight to zero. Twilight is increasing. Ah. Uh, you will gain secret, but so its twilight will increase. Do I want high twilight for some special options, or do I want to decrease twilight to zero? Hmm. Let's go with the decreasing, because we have a lot of secrets. So, yeah. Set a thief to catch a thief. Set a witch to catch a curse. I think I can manage a small detour, she tells you. She rides west towards the forest, her staff in hand. For the next week, strange reports reach you from the woodland villages. Of fires burning deep in the forest, and streams suddenly freezing despite the sun. There are sightings of improbable beasts, a laughing wolf, a pensive bear, <laughs> that's all her, <laughs> a spider the size of a cart horse. The forest falls quiet. For a time, Soho seems almost normal. Yeah, that's, that's her, the wolf, bear, and spider. So twilight quality has gone. Excellent. The scornful sorceress battled the sylvan powers of the Applewoods for you. Excellent, excellent. All right. All right, let's hope we get the purveyor of teas card, you know, so that we can uh, earn a favor from him. Ugh. So let's go with glass. Let's see, do we have a lot of clues? We have a ton of clues. So let's look at other things that we might be able to do. Sh shortage, shortage of soda ass. <laughs> shortage of soda ash. It's like the sh sh dyslexia, dyslexia. So let's go with the so soda ash. <laughs> let's get soda. <laughs> uh, wolves of the river. The guild mistress throws up her hands. No ash, no glass. It's as simple as that. Something has to be done about the pirates. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All right. So. I don't want to reduce freedom, but we do need to increase prosperity. Well, where's our freedom? Freedom, freedom, freedom over here. Freedom, prosperity. We gain clues at the cost of prosperity. Uh, okay, let's let's go with enforce. Tighter the tighten the policing of the rivers. So blood in the water. Okay, so we're still benevolently governed, and we gain prosperity. We're wealthy, because later on we'll be able to sacrifice prosperity for more freedom and stuff like that. All right, what does the kindly knight have for us today? And yeah, we have we have three trophies, so I think we're just gonna pass through cards, card after card, so we can. Consult, I was going to say insult his expertise. <laughs> we don't want to insult his expertise. Uh, increase freedom. Uh, costs a lot. That's a lot of clues. Those are a lot of clues. Uh, increase daring do. No, so our only option is to gain more clues. Another history lesson. We've got such a ton of clues. All right. Pig farmer. <clears throat> we don't want the pig farmer as our counselor, so we're not. Uh, do we want to lose dignity? Well, all we can do is lose dignity. Uh, do we want to increase scholarship? 
How many clues do we have? We have 78 clues. Expend clues to increase your scholarship. The higher your scholarship, the more it will cost. So how's our scholarship? Scholarship is at 50. Well, perhaps our scholarship could be higher, you know, and it only costs clues and we can gain clues anytime. Oh wait, make the pig farmer your accomplice. Increasing your scholarship by 20, she'll replace your current accomplice. Oh, wait, she can be an accomplice. And we keep getting her as a card. But will that reduce her dignity? Because, yeah. And then if I do the, if I, if I do, and then we get the purveyor of teeth. Like seriously. Um. Okay, so we can increase scholarship. No one can know. She will replace increasing your scholarship, but to gain earn favor with her. How do we earn favor with the pig farmer? This, this increases scholarship. Uh, send a messenger to ask her opinion on a matter. It loses dignity, sacrifice a dignity and authority to earn favor. It'll it'll use oh, 20 dignity. Well, we do have 100. And you know what? We're in, we keep getting the pig farmer card. So we we might as well just go with it and see where that leads us because I want oh wait no it's count oh what did I just do did I confuse accomplice and counselor Ugh. whatever maybe this can come in handy later so stand still <laughs> She admires wit even more than er erudition, especially in a ruler. But a marquis, uh, a marquis that is binky that is so very confused. Visiting a pig farmer, it'll do your reputation no good at court. After two hours, neither of your magisters can reach the throne at the center of the board. A stalemate. Not an uncommon result between two experienced players. The pig farmer congratulates you on an invigorating game. Giraud says, Giraud says, A ruler can employ scholars to teach them, soldiers to fight for them, and bards to intrigue for them, but no one can think of them. He's right. Some have tried, but it never ends well. And she's speaking from experience. So we earn favor. We're still magnificent, and we lost some authority. And watch, watch that card pop up. Like, seriously. But it's okay to have favors from people. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Okay, let's gather resources. And let's gain authority. <laughs> seriously. What I tell you? Your people are troubled. <laughs> Oh, I lost dignity. Darn. None of them dare question your rulings openly, but you hear the whispers scuttle around the edges of your hall. Are you a fool, they wonder? An optimist, a tyrant? Has the madness that afflicted the shame finally taken you? Ah, uh, I called it, eh? I, it, Murphy's Law. Damn you, Murphy. Well, so much for getting confused, but it's okay. It just makes it all the more interesting. So let's go with the purveyor of teas. Spend authority to gain a favor from the purveyor of teas. Peril and rumors of revolution will increase. That's fine. That's fine. Some of my friends have been unwise in their choice of company, he says. But... Must youthful follies blight their fortunes? Selective justice. His tangle of seditious, ill-behaved contacts make the purveyor useful. Some can be pardoned, some quietly released. The dwarf is ecstatic. I have just the tea for so provi pro providential an occasion. He fusses, fiery insistent, and with an undertone of juniper. 
It is also a sovereign remedy for hair loss. Oh, is it now? I'm experiencing a bit of thinning. Maybe this is uh, just what I need. Not that I'm suggesting anything regarding your own ennobled follicles. Like a thicket they are, no, a mane. <laughs> like a thicket they are, no, a mane. Okay, so peril cannot increase past 100. Rumors of revolution is very high. A detrimental card has been added to your deck. Okay, and we've lost authority. Okay. <laughs> but that's that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can regain a bunch of things. We can regain dignity. We can earn back authority and this is high. We can we can try to reduce that. So the smiling guild mistress, we can uh, gain clues. We still have a lot of clues. I think that's the only thing we can do here. So let's go for the clues. Bounty, excellent. And the cheery baron. Let's see here. Bandit chiefs or lazy peasants. Let's go with the bandit chief. Familial pride, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, infiltrate. Peril will increase, but you'll gain clues and increase prosperity. Yeah. Let's go with that. Bound in blood. I was going to say blood and bound. Again. Again. So peril can increase. It can't increase higher than that. And we're going to have to decrease it uh, before... Before... The divine arrives. All right, so let's see if we can gain authority. Your wisdom is praised. What? Only two authority from that? Okay. Well, I want to make sure I have five authority before I flip the next cards in case he pops up again or I use up an action if he pops up I go and uh, okay so smiling guild mistress again all we can do is gain more clues we're over we have so many clues so many clues man the dowager thieves morning ma let's go with the morning mask the legacy excellent Increase prosperity, gain dignity, and clues. So, prosperity is better than dignity. So let's go for dignity. We're gonna have the letter of the law. We're gonna have so many clues. So many clues. All right, cheery baron. Go hunting with the cheery baron. Or no, we don't need to. Ah. Spend clues to reduce rumors of revolution. The lower your rumors of revolution, the more it will cost. Uh, that's not what I wanted to check. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of rumors of revolution. So, yeah, let's reduce rumors of revolution. That's good. When the Baron comes a-calling, because he knows what to do. And give him the names and locations of revolutionary sympathizers. So, Fetch my sword, he barks at a servant. Saddle my horse. We're going to remind a few people who rules in the Sorrow and who serves. Yes, who serves. So, oh no, we lost 20 clues. Now we are at 80. <laughs> Oh, so detrimental. Okay, so it decreased rumors of revolution a bit. Okay. Okay, uh, smiling guild mistress again. We're gonna get more clues. Boom, boom, boom. Bard. Uh, let's go with the docks. Another time. Yes, yes. So reduce peril. Gain clues to increase freedom. Let's increase freedom. Excellent. From the ashes. Perfect. And the fields. 
So Plague Village or Manor Fallen on Heart. Let's go for, go for the Manor. Skin and Bone. Yes, yes. Okay. Increase freedom at the cost of dignity. Uh, increase dignity at the cost of freedom. Freedom. Dignity. Ugh. Lose health but gain clues. No. Okay. Well. Let's gain more dignity. So that's fine. Power and responsibility. Yes, they suffer that the Marquisate may thrive. But when Red War comes to Seru, the nobles will bleed. Without your sword and spear, these scrawny villains would be prey to elf or beast or bandit. Eat well, drink deep. Yes, yes. They must accept their lot. Their lord needs to be hale and provisioned in case his people are threatened. So, we are admirable. I haven't had uh, scary cards. The purveyor of teas. All right, so we need to gain more authority. So let's see, we have two authority. So let's go gather resources and to gain authority. Let's hope three. Three authority, please. The authority. Oh, one. Ah, uh, so I get the three because the total is three. Your people are troubled. Onward. Oof. Got it. Got to try again. While I still have uh, actions left. <sighs> Come on. We just need two more authority. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Your wisdom is praised. Purveyor of teas. Excellent. Spend authority to gain favor. Yes. Go. Perfect. We have two favors. So I'm going to need authority to be able to call on him as a subject or next time, uh, you know, next time I'll be able to, uh, make him or next yeah next time the card i'm like next time next time what next time the card pops up make him my accomplice so an exalted visitor uh an exalted visitor i am so pleased so very very pleased be seated here in this field chair no no this one the other has been occupied by persons of low birth will you honor me by taking a little tea grant pardons for his associates some of my friends have been unwise in their choice of company, he says. But must youthful follies blight their fortunes? Selective justice. His dangle of seditious, ill-behaved contents makes the purveyor useful. Ah, yes, I read that. <laughs> like, oh, yes. Rumors of revolution is a hundred. Ooh. Okay. But that's okay. We still have two market days left. So we can lower rumors of revolution, we can lower peril, and we haven't had any uh, intense cards yet. And uh, gathering resources, resources. Uh, not at the resources, but uh, when we send for, no, 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 where, where did I see it? Was it at preparing for the divine? So, no, this is bags of royal to put. No, no, no. Okay. So we'll we'll see about lowering that. But at least we lowered the twilight. So in revolt. Lose freedom, lose dignity, lose rulership. Ooh. Freedom, dignity. We can't lose dignity. So, and I don't want to lose rulership. So, let's, let's lose prosperity. Because we're pretty wealthy. Instead, they gather in cellars to forment, foment sedition. Elsewhere, corn rots on the stalks. 
herds disperse across hillsides scored with crumbling walls. When your officials go forth on your business, silence and suspicious stares confront them. All right. The elegant abbess. I can uh, get in favor, but I don't need her as my counselor. So let's just go for more clues. Eyes on the ground. We're going to have so many clues. Seriously. Look at all these clues. Omens. Sudden storm. Whispers. Ah, it's the omens cards of uh, Twilight. But it's okay. We don't need... Uh, it's fine. So, whispers or a storm. Let's go with the whispers. A wind from another world. Yes, yes. Okay, so increase twilight, decrease peril. Well, we have zero. Gain authority. Oh, gain authority. So let's gain authority. Busy, busy. Okay. We have two actions. We'll be able to call for the purveyor of teas. Though I don't know if I'm going to need a third action. Hmm. Anyway, the wayward bard. So... Spend clues to increase dignity. The higher your dignity, the more it will cost. So let's let's gain dignity. We need dignity. Excellent. We are back at admirable. Compose a new verse glorifying Seru. The seal of the slag is his great unfinished work. A hundred odd stanzas of patriotic rhyme. Sometimes he sings the latest version at feasts, rewriting verses as he goes. A moving target. You describe an incident of picaresque historical color that should be good for a verse or two. That's good stuff, he says. I can use that. Now that's, I can use that. There we go. That's more, that's more, with more conviction there, you know. You ask when he will finish the ballad. He gives you a level stare. When will I finish? it when i when will i finish the comprehensive story of soro and her spirit when will i finish that yes i don't know things keep happening okay okay i'll, I'll take your word for it i'll take your sing-song word for it <laughs> and a meeting with the outlaw uh, the woods wake Bandit clans, let's go for the woods. Woods wisdom, always good. Gain authority. Increase twilight, decrease peril. Uh, let's gain some more authority. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. Alright, send for the purveyor of teas. Wreathed. Is he late again? Issue a warrant for his arrest. That'll get his attention. Read in ol oleg oleginous smiles. Ah, my lord, as I was already on my way to see you when this peculiar legal confusion ensued. I'm sure you can resolve the matter. All right. Recruit him as your accomplice. His singular talents are hard to come by outside of revolutionary cells, adder nests, and the Empress's picnics. Make the purveyor your accomplice, increasing your cunning by 20. He will replace your current accomplice. Well, I do not have a current accomplice. Yo. Mm. A pact. He strokes the prongs of his beard, then shows you into a back room. Taking out a black clay pot and two plain pewter cups, he brews and pours you both an oily blue tea. Ooh, blue. Interesting. Swimming with leaves. It smells like damp, wormy earth. Ugh. Well, most brews do smell kind of funny and earthy. Drink, he says. Where is his usual loquacity? He sips grimacing. When both cups are empty, your throat burning from the caustic tea, he shakes your hand to business. Okay. Excellent. 
So we've made a pact with the purveyor of teas, and we lost a favor, and we have chosen an accomplice. So we have a counselor, the cheery baron. We have a lover, the wayward bard. We have an accomplice, the purveyor of teas, and we have a bodyguard, the silent hunter. Excellent. We're, we're full here. It's a full team. So this finally was fruitful on market day. So I guess next time the goal will be to decrease peril and decrease rumors of revolution. Uh, twilight uh, is really low. That's inevitable to have a bit of Twilight, a bit of them all. But if we can, it's dangerous to have them at 100. It's interesting at this point in the game, I think. But we need to increase dignity, freedom, and prosperity, and reduce peril and rumors of revolution. And since Twilight is really low, we can use, we can increase a bit of that if it helps reduce those things. So that's pretty good. We're doing well. We're doing well. Excellent. And we have a full team. So we'll see what the cards reveal next time.